Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys how to do this fun boxer look for Halloween, so let's hop into it. As always, you're going to want to start with clean skin and no makeup on. And I'm just going to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation here, and I'm going to pop a little bit of that onto my skin. And then I'm going to take this damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend it all away. I want my skin to look pretty even, but I also don't want it to look like I'm wearing too much makeup. So I'm going to go in with the concealer and conceal where I have some blemishes. But for the most part, I want the skin to look pretty natural. Next, I'm going to take this really brightening under eye concealer and I'm going to pop this underneath of one of my eyes. This is going to be the eye that doesn't have the bruise underneath of it. So I really wanted it to look super awake and even so that way there's a big contrast between the bruised eye and the non-bruised eye. Next, I'm going in with this cream eyeshadow base. This one's from MAC, it's called Soft Ochre. I love it because it really helps even out the eyelid and get rid of all those veins. So I'm just gonna put that all over one of my eyelids. Then I'm just gonna set my face with some translucent powder. You guys know the drill. I just wanna make sure everything is locked in place. Next, I'm taking this Marc Jacobs bronzer. It's a nice matte, warm brown color. And I'm just gonna warm up my hairline a bit and pop this on my cheeks and also onto my jawline just to add a little bit of definition and just add a bit of warmth back into the face because I was feeling a little pale. And then I'm also gonna take some of that bronzer and pop that into the crease of my eye. This is something that I always do. You can't tell that you're wearing any eyeshadow, but it just helps to find it a bit more. So I love doing that. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm also gonna pop a little bit of that onto a pencil brush and smudge that into my lower lash line. Then with a matte eyeshadow that's very close to my skin my skin color, my skin tone slash skin color, I'm gonna pop that onto my eyelid as well as onto my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take a warm chocolatey matte brown eyeshadow and I'm just gonna line my upper lash line. Since it is an eyeshadow, it's gonna be really soft and really diffuse but it'll just help make your lashes appear a bit fuller. I'm also gonna do this on the other eye that we didn't do makeup on yet. And I'm just gonna smudge this one out a lot more and make it a lot more smoky. Next, I'm gonna take my trusty Shu Yamera eyelash curler and I'm just gonna curl my lashes, which always looks very bizarre. And then I'm going to apply a thin coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. I find on myself, mascara just kind of helps me transform from looking like a newborn baby to, hey, she might be an adolescent. Next, we're gonna define those brows. So I'm going to take this Dior Brow Styler. I love this pencil and I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows and get them looking a little more cleaned up and a little more defined. Next, I'm gonna take a cream blush and cream blush is just gonna look way more natural and way more fresh looking than a powder blush would look. And it's gonna give off more of that vibe like, hey, I go to the gym, look at this natural glow I have, I'm a boxer. And then I'm just gonna apply a lip balm onto my lips. Okay, so now for the actual fun part of this video. I'm going to start with the bruise on my eye, so I'm just taking this Ben Nye bruise wheel here, and I'm gonna use some of the red and the purpley colors. The age of the bruise is really gonna determine what colors you use. If you want it to be more of like a fresh bruise, maybe you wanna to stick to more of the red, maroons, maybe even purpley kind of colors like I am. Whereas if you want it to be more of like a black eye, a couple of days old, maybe you wanna to stick to more of like the bluey, greeny kind of colors. I'm also gonna take some of that yellow cream and I'm gonna apply that wherever I applied some of the purple. I'm gonna use this very sparsely, but I just found that the yellow makes it a bit more interesting and sometimes bruises go yellow like that, so it just makes it a bit more, a bit more fun, I guess. I definitely encourage you to Google some pictures of some black eyes or of some bruises, just so you can really see how bruises actually look and how they develop. It's gonna be a lot easier to recreate a bruise, a realistic looking bruise, if you know what real bruises look like. So get studying and pull up some photos and try to recreate that. Next, I'm taking this Ben Nye Burn Wheel and I'm gonna take some of the red colors from that palette. And I'm just gonna apply that onto the high point of my cheekbone. You kinda of wanna think about where the point of impact would be if someone was to actually punch you in the cheek. Next, I'm gonna take this stipple sponge and I'm gonna take a little piece of that and dip that into some of the maroony, purpley colors that we were using earlier. And I'm just going to stipple that onto the bruise. This kind of almost looks like broken capillaries or just weird patterns and it really helps create the effect of a bruise. So I'm gonna apply that onto the part where I wanna have a fat lip as well and onto where I'm gonna put the stitches on my cheekbone. So you want to keep looking at your work in the mirror and seeing what looks off balance or what needs to be added or taken away. 
Next, we're gonna work on the laceration on the cheek. So I'm gonna take Skin Tight, and this is like a silicone product that kind of replicates skin texture, but you can make it into whatever you want. And once it dries, it stays in place and holds shape. So I'm applying a thin line of this onto my cheekbone. I'm just gonna keep playing around with the product until it completely dries. And I actually have a more in-depth tutorial on how I like to do stitches and lacerations like this. So I will leave a link to that in the description in case you want a more thorough tutorial on just that specifically. Basically what I'm doing is waiting until the product gets kind of tacky and I'm dragging my palette knife through to create a bit of a tear. Next, I'm taking this alcohol activated palette and I'm going to apply some red and purpley colors into the laceration and just to kind of make it look inflamed and irritated and sore looking. So you really just want to play around with different colors and creating different shadows and eventually it'll start to look like a very sore tear in the skin. I'm also going to apply some of that color onto my lip and onto my eye. Then again, I'm just taking some translucent powder just to set everything in place. Next, I'm going to take some Prosaid and I'm going to take these little stitches that I made and knotted myself. And I'm just going to dip those stitches into the Prosaid and stick those into the laceration. Like I said, I did make a more in-depth video on how to do stitches and all that stuff. So the link will be down below if you want to see more info on that. We are basically just applying that onto the laceration. Then I'm taking this red blush and I'm going to apply this around the stitches and around the bruises. I just kind of wanted to make it appear a bit more sore and just to kind of amp it up a bit more. So I'm just going to blend that all around there. Next, I'm going to take this Jordan Scab Blood and I'm just going to apply some of that onto my palette knife. And I'm just gonna kind of make a little incision on my lip and just drag it upwards. And then there you go, you have a nice split lip. And then I'm just gonna apply some of the leftover scab color onto the stitches and around that area. Then I'm taking some dark drying blood and I'm gonna apply that onto the stitches as well. This is a really great product because it starts as a liquid, but after a couple of minutes, the blood will dry and harden and stay in place. I'm gonna pop a little bit of that onto my lip as well. And while that blood is still wet, I'm gonna take that stipple sponge that we used earlier, and I'm just gonna kind of move around and stipple that blood around the stitches and also around the bruise on the eye and around the lip. And next is probably one of my favorite parts of this tutorial because I think it's absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna take this Jordan Special Effects Tooth Kit and I'm going to apply the black color onto one of my teeth. Mm-hmm, that is looking cute. I love it, I really do. Next, I'm gonna take some Vaseline and I'm just gonna apply this around my hairline. This is just gonna make the sweat last a bit longer. So I'm just gonna spray water directly over top of that. You can use like a sweat product or like glycerin, but I find Vaseline and water tends to do the trick. So there is the completed makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed this. <laughs> it's so funny, I literally used medical wraps on my hands because I didn't have any boxing gloves. So I kind of decided to improvise there. But yeah, that is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Definitely let me know what you decide to be for Halloween. And here I am laughing at myself because I was taking myself a little too seriously. So let me know what you guys decide to be for Halloween. I hope you guys have an awesome Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.